back hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel simply me we are back again with another different topic today we are touching on sensitive things um i decided to do this video after just having you know one of those days where you work up and you realize oh shit i am alone i have no one i can rely on i have no one i can talk to i don't have my friends i don't have my relatives I, you're basically in a foreign country and you're all alone and then you just start reminiscing and thinking about everything and everything so this is how i felt today guys so today i decided to talk about this topic you know and this one is for my fellow people back at home who think that the grass is greener on the other side. Lucky Dewey sang a song that the grass is not greener on the other side. Because only when you're on the other side do you start realizing that no, actually, it was not greener. Um, when Lucky Dewey sang his song, he put different examples. There was a man who was on the other side who was black and was in, in Europe or on the other side and he felt like he didn't know himself he felt like he was lost he didn't understand himself the, the people the surroundings he couldn't connect and this man dreamt so much about going to Africa to his roots to try and dig and get to know the other side get to know what Africa was like where he came from you know there are people that long to get to know the other side which is fine and then when we are back at home we want so badly to leave home and come this side that we don't realize and forget and we do forget the most important things in life which are family love happiness and everything else that you can think about that we have back home that you will not literally not get back here this is having neighbors to go to and ask for salt neighbors to just walk in and sit and talk with neighbors to just shout mom kasei hi how are you all those things neighbors where you meet and go together to the farm these are the things that you will always miss when you are here and so I, I'm, I'm saying I'm talking about this example because I love the way like you do him put it in his song that the grass we think the grass is greener on the other side yet in actual fact the grass is not greener on the other side it's just green it looks green because we are far away and we feel like oh my god it's perfect and only when you get here you realize it is not perfect so today i want to walk you on different topics that i think i shall share with you before you make this decision that you want to move to germany before you decide you want to leave home to a european country before you decide you just want to leave home going anywhere else in the world you know there's certain things that you want to think about if it's worth it is it worth leaving your family behind is it worth it leaving your children behind is it worth it leaving your husband behind you know all these things so my topic is the grass is not greener here <laughs> things that people don't tell you these things nobody tells you but I'm here today to tell you guys um, the first thing that you will be faced with is the fact that you are in now in a foreign land the moment you come here is yes there will be people that will be welcoming and there will be people who will not be welcoming and the fact is you have to know it and put it in your head that now you are in a different land you're not at home so there is definitely gonna be ups and downs there will be a million challenges that you will face with you will be lonely you will be depressed you will be angry you'll be frustrated so many factors influence this so when you try to fit in a, in a society it is different it is difficult because people will judge you people will see you will look at you they will assume things about you 
they will talk behind your back they will ignore you this happens a lot in germany whenever you get to a building you know you are with people they will simply ignore you because they don't know you because they are, they are not open to 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 new people and it's because they are shy and because it's not easy for them to to just they are not so is going like us africans where you when you come home you know we are so welcoming we are warm africans are warm and i feel like germans are cold not me and meant in a bad way but from my observation they are uh, cold than we africans so you get to a space in the room people will just be sitting minding their own business but if you were to get into a room in Africa, people will be mixing and mingling and talking and chatting about everything and anything. And this you will not get here. You will miss this. You will miss contact. You will be with people, but you will not be able to feel the same way. It will not be different. It will not be the same. Learning a new language, learning German <laughs> is one of the worst frustrations that you can ever have. Because what I guess they don't understand is that not everybody is intelligent and not everybody that comes from africa is young some people that uh, Im immigrate here are older because they have tried and tried back at home and things are not working and they decide okay fine i'm going to sell my car and sell sell my the little things that i have move into another country and get a job people that most people that live home can't come in here they don't want to go to school they are not here to go to school they are here to to get a job and i guess this is a system that they don't understand so they put us under pressure to learn the language and without the language you don't get a job this is like a barrier you know but we understand yes you have to learn the language to communicate this is fine but then what the the worst problems the worst case scenario is that when you're 39 and <laughs> the last time you were in school was 29 years ago and most probably in this time things are not as good as now and you have just managed to get by and maybe you don't even have your high school certificate you you know most of the people back home that i know don't have high school certificate but they have jobs they have a well-known artist they're doing very well for themselves but here in germany you will know you will be shocked to know that you need papers for everything. You need a certificate for everything. For you to get an house building, you need a certificate for something. For you to get a, a good paying job, you need a certificate. For I mean, literally everything. If you want to further your education, you need a certificate. So, and this affects people that come here with the intention of getting support, you know, getting a job. Just come here get a job and work because most Africans they don't want to invest so much time in working in, 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 in school 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 because it is difficult we leave kids at home we leave families we leave hungry families at home we leave uh, you know it's not just one person that you'll be taking care of you'll be taking care of ten or more people and your plan is not coming here and wasting one year two years three years trying to get uh, 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 trying to learn germany trying to get an house building or being rejected because you don't have your form for a certificate or maybe you do have a form for certificate but you have bad knots you know you got who's who's uno gonna uno gonna uno gonna uno gonna and then they are literally just certificate with nothing then it means you have to find something to do you have to find a job and guess what you will get the kind of jobs that you will get here are what i will call dirty jobs jobs that germans will not do like taking care of older people cleaning or you know all the dirty jobs that you can think of or what you call this working in the hospital as an assistant or all these things these are the jobs that are actually in the market right now because they don't want to do them social jobs that you're helping other people most of these jobs they will not do them so these are the jobs that are in the market for us Africans 
and one other thing is it is not easy as you think finding a job this is the thing because we assume that we are in a foreign land and we read the papers that oh the job market in germany is so high but what we don't realize is there is a process to it even if you get here you have all your papers then you have to get them recognized it's called anerkennung you have to translate them so that they the germans can read them from english into german this takes months it takes money you know all these things so think about it you have to translate your certificate you have to you have to learn the german language which means already you have wasted one year and maybe two years you are in waiting you are in waiting so that you can get a job and work and you left kids at home this is the reality of the matter that people don't think about before they leave home they think it's easy they think you can get here and get a job so forth no the only way you can get a job here so forth is already when you're back home you apply for a job directly and the company says yes we are hiring we will hire you we will give you an apartment or whatsoever the whole list if you are hired from back home then you're you're guaranteed you will come here work and go to german school <laughs> what did you think that you would just go to work and not learn german hello welcome to germany you will work and go to german school work and go to german school and if you're lucky enough you are able to bring your family like your wife and your kids and if not depending on how you come to germany if you come here through social uh, work voluntary work then you can't bring your children your family if you come here as an au pair you can't bring your children or your boyfriend or your, your husband if you come here as a student you can't bring your boyfriend and your husband if you come here as a refugee you can't bring your husband and your kids if you come here as an artist on a freelance visa you can't bring your children also so the only way to bring your family here is through if you are you are a refugee and you already have been approved that you can stay in germany then they can bring your family if you are a professional you got a job when you were back home and then the company says these are your benefits then you can bring your family home so you see this is not as easy as you thought so if you come here to germany on your own you as a social worker or something or as an au pair and then you you rise as you go you finally get to a point where you have done your house building it's done and you have a job you have your own apartment and all these things and you want to bring your husband or your child or you want to bring your wife or you want to bring your child here it will not be as easy as you think it is because of the bureaucracy here first you have to prove that you can you are able to take care of yourself you are able to take care of your children you have to have a certain amount of money in your bank account to be able to bring them here and all those things and guys knowing from most of us africans we work and we send money home only a few can save as much money so you, they can't expect you to have 20,000 euros in your bank account when you are ever, you are sending money back home every month so this is unfortunate but this is the reality of it and most of the africans i've seen here are struggling to bring their their spouses here or their children it is not easy you know and people think it's easy when you're home and you say ah i'm planning to move i want to leave home and leave and go to germany sorry i want to to say this to you it will be so sad because then you will have to stay 10 5 10 years without seeing your children just because you can't afford to bring them here okay maybe if you travel and go back home yes super and first if you have a if you have a job it means that if you're a mother then you have to search for a job that is according to the same it's almost same hours as your child so if your child has to go to school morning morning until three then you have your job has to also be morning until three if not then you have to find a way how you will navigate the whole situation you know picking up the child from school and maybe after taking the child to after lessons or after courses or finding a spot for them or finding something for them and this is not easy to find if you are 
or, or a single parent two you will need uh, uh, someone to help you you know if you are not able to leave work and pick the child up this is very important and one thing Germans are very particular about children if you are not taking care of your child well or accordingly then this is strafbar you can even lose your child you know and the other issue is not just this when you have kids if you have more than two children people stare at you they will stare at you if you have three children four children oh my god people stare at you stare at you but then the worst case scenario is that according to statistics Germany has have uh, for so many years had a decline in population because Germans were not having children. So this is the reason why uh, there are more older people in Germany than younger people. And over the past, they realized that their their population was really going down because if there are more older people and less young and less younger people, what happens in the future? They will have a a crazy situation and but then they because they don't like to have so many children and most of them they don't even have kids some would prefer not to have kids some prefer to have to have one and when they see that there's an african or someone who has two or three or four kids then they're so judgmental they look at you like oh my god how does she do it oh so many children and if you have more children you can't get an apartment you will search and search and search and search it will not be so easy because apparently people hate children this is true they love children when they see them but they love them from afar because if you are living in a house with children there will be of course noise there will be a lot of noise children like to jump around like to play so of course definitely there will not be peace and germans love their peace so it is not as easy as we think guys when we are back home it is not as easy as we think when we are back home and i guess my last my last uh point is if Germans are more open to professionals than they are to refugees, to artists, to everything, to everybody else, social workers, au pairs, and all those things. Why? Because professional professionals uh, literally get come to Germany and get to the market, to the working market, and literally start earning money and they start pay, paying taxes. But if you are in another uh, barrage, if you are another sector. You will have to slowly climb the ladder until you're able to pay taxes for yourself, which means you need help from the government, you need help. And But if you're a professional, you come already hired, you have your job already laid out for you. It means that you're already in the market, in the job market, you're paying tax. And they are much more open to those people than to regular people. So guys, I hope this is fun. I hope you learned a lesson, one or two. It is not greener in Germany. It is green because it's green. it looks greener from afar. But the honest truth is, are you willing to sacrifice what you have home? Are you willing to sell uh, to your small car? If you're able to take care of your family with the money you're making from your tax shop and all those things, are you willing to give up all those things so that you come here and suffer as your... Uh, as you're uh, upgrading yourself the question is do you want to take this risk if yes then germany is a nice place to be it is a nice country you can check out my other videos about what you can do to come here to germany and until next time guys if you're new please do subscribe like comment and share if you're my loyal follower thank you for watching thank you for tuning in until next time guys guys ciao